Hello everyone. The stream is starting. Who do we have with us today? I'm just going to start by jumping into a map. I can talk while we do that. So, while we are gone, I reached level 95, somehow. I've only leveled a few characters to 95 naturally without the help of an XP service, like the five-way uh, Domain of Timeless Conflicts. Uh, this, I think, is only, like, the fifth character I've gotten this far, so I'm pretty happy with that. And she's honestly very much capable of keeping going, so I'm pretty excited. Character's going well. As an update, I bought shiny things because I am, like, a magpie and like shiny things. <laughs> Just just me wasting my money, it's fine. However, this wasn't a waste of money. I got a cast speed uh, corruption on my Venomous Weave. Uh, someone posted this, a shiny Venomous Weave with a, the max tier cast speed, or the max rolled cast speed corruption, which is just perfect, so... I picked that up in a heartbeat. <laughs> That's most of what's happened so far. I've just been leveling off stream. Ooh. I'll have to give it a second for the stream to catch up with everything going on in the game. Okay. Cool. cool. Oh, glad to be streaming. It's always sad to... Uh, go on to the weekend where I don't have to... I don't get to stream, I should say, not have to. Let's be honest, I don't do this because I get money or anything. It's not like I get paid for this, but... <laughs> it is fun. I'm quite excited, though, because we have some things to do today. I have a... Uh... I gotta get better at multitasking. I have an Eater of Worlds, the very first Eater of Worlds, ready to go for this character. Very excited about that, because then I can actually do normal Eater of Worlds content. I have a Black Star ready to go, and if we do a little bit of mapping, we'll be able to get our first non-tutorials, Searing Exarch. That is currently the plan. Ooh, I would love Chaos Orbs. That sounds great. Okay. Uh, I can take this. Awaken Sextons, Grand Embers, totally. That's absolutely worth however many deaths it requires. And where else are we with this? Map drops, divination cards... Polish Blight Scarabs, 3% chance. That's pretty good. 3% chance to get a Polish Blight Scarab on kill. I'm not going to turn that down. And chisels. I need chisels. Actually, I don't really need chisels, so I bought some, but... I've been needing chisels lately. I haven't really had much. Yeah, acceleration! Yeah! <laughs> one of the biggest differences between the last stream and this one, though, is that this character is just so much more powerful. I've taken a lot of time to just sit down with her and really, really work on what makes her good. 
She's a lot more tanky now. I mean, she's up to 4,400 health. Partially because of the level ups, partially just because of gear. Uh, I bought some far too expensive gear. Now, actually, it was quite worth it. I picked up these, which are kind of crazy, I gotta say. 100% chance to avoid being frozen, chaos res, all the other reses I need, action speed, life regen per endurance charge, max life. Very good. And I also picked up these, which is 20 resistance catalysts, which are like 35 apiece, but I bought it as is, just with like 18 catalysts on it, and I just finished it off. It was a bit expensive, but it was definitely worth it, because it actually allowed me to bring my Chaos Res up to 63%, which is obscene for this character, because this character's supposed to have negative 22 That was like 10 div worth of equipment, though. Which we can thank the really awesome Forbidden Flame that we got last, last stream. That really, really helped me get a lot of good stuff. Speaking of which, that did sell. I ended up doing it for 36 div, which was... Still pretty damn good. A little bit lower than I originally intended, but I would rather have a fast, sure sale than anything else, because you never know what's going to happen with the market. It's better to take the money you can get right now, I find. That's more of a thing with rare items, but, I mean, I don't know. With those expensive things, you never know how long they're going to take to sell, so I'd rather just get rid of them when I can. Uh, basic currency items, sure. Give me a double mirror or something. <laughs> I would love that. Wow, I just, like, s stood beside zombies that hit me to death. That was really bad. <laughs> My gosh, that that's not the best showing I've ever had. And I'm already back at the start. Darn it! <laughs> oh, there's stuff I've missed, apparently. Uh, I will do the Wildfoot after. I also have a Spectre with me. That's not really doing anything right now, but it's part of an idea. I got just from... Well, it's not my idea. I was reading the wiki, and uh, someone made a good point about what you can do with the marionette specters that respawn when they die. There is a... There is a sport gem called uh, the Guardian's Blessing, which lets a minion have a curse... Or not have a curse, have an aura on it, like a little aura bot. Uh, in exchange for upholding the curse, though, or up, or keeping up the uh, aura, it takes damage very rapidly. So it's and it's very hard to outpace it because the damage is like 10% of its health per second. So it's very very hard to manage. And I've actually spent quite a bit of time trying to manage it. It's not it's not a simple thing. Uh, but the marionette responds. So I'm thinking that maybe if I mix those two things together that they're supposed to work. And I could have a Zealotry Aura or a Grace Aura following me around. Uh, give me Raging Dead. Monster Slain? Okay, I can do that. I was like, wow, I'm moving really fast for some reason. I wonder what could possibly be happening right now. It's myself by intoxication. I might actually be strong enough at this point that... Or I might actually move fast enough at this point that I don't need to stay Warden. 
for the movement speed, but also I like the warden for the max life, so it's kind of hard to say, but there's, there's a... I'm having a very hard time justifying trying any other sentence besides warden, just because warden gives you movement speed, and movement speed is just too good. 30% movement speed? Come on, like, that's... That's very hard to, very hard to ignore, especially when you're on just like a character that doesn't have a lot of base movement speed. I should not have stopped there. Leave me alone. Ooh, carry splitters. Actually, let me just double check quickly. Okay, I need to make sure my trade macro is on. I do not want the lightning damage based on your your mana cost, because I I have a very high mana cost. Man, I'd love to build sustain mana completely, but I cannot. So I am pushing it a bit doing this. I should be a bit more careful, actually. Who do I want to go for? It? Oh, that looks really juicy. See, the thing is, I could use that immediately in my build. <laughs> Just move my Ray Spectre, and it goes right there. Uh, that's probably worth money, too. Okay, whatever. I'm going to push for it, see what happens. This is so dangerous, what I'm doing. I can't stop moving. I will be in so much trouble if I stop moving. Please, please, kill it, kill it, kill just something. Okay. No, not not doing it. No! Oh, oh, I almost died right after. <laughs> that would have sucked. Okay, what are these worth? What about five chaos apiece? Really, I would have thought that Vol Molten Shell would be more expensive. Hmm. I might need to buy some of these up and get myself a Vol Molten Shell 21. I didn't mean, like, I have a Vol Molten Shell, like, set up to have, be in my build, and I just have not bought it yet. Despite having bought a lot of other things. Okay, let's get what I can out of this thing, is I'm going to have bonuses from... Considering Exarch, and I would really like to get more Scarabs if I can. More bonus things to kill are always good. Alright, clear. I actually got really lucky. I found an Ursi. A uh, unique level seed. So an orange one. Instead of like a white or a blue one. That's the first one I've seen in this league. They're very rare, so you might not see one at all uh, in the league, depending on how much harvest you do. Okay, let's be a bit careful. The ranged attacks. There we go. Clear. I didn't. I don't feel like I didn't get any scarabs or chisels from any of that. I wonder if this has, if this is effective inside the garden or not. It might not be. It might not be in 
work in sub areas, even though the garden is affected by map modifiers, and those are, should be map modifiers. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but... And how great would it be if I go back to this forest and it just happens to have a King of the Mist? I'm still looking for one. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, let's wait for everything to be okay. Okay. James happy again. Ooh, an experimental harvest. These are like the most valuable thing I've found so far in the garden. Garden? In the forest. Yeah, that's 28C worth of light force. Light force? Life force. Very worth it. Where is more stuff? Here? I see little bits of Vivid. Oh, what just happened? Oh, the portal. <laughs> wondering what was happening. Oh, well. I'm doing the forest at the end just because the forests have been pretty rough for me lately. I think I can do them, but if I'm doing a tier 16, I it gets more dicey. Uh, wait, I want that back. Oh, I apparently already had an extra one, too. So when we are nearing the end of the stream, I am going to start, I'm going to open some div cards. We're going to say that for later, but i uh, going to open some Emperor's Luck and stuff. Chromia, Jewelry, Gambler, that stuff. Okay, so now that we've done all this crap, We have a warm up boss fight, which is the Polaric invitation for the Black Star. Uh, that should all be fine. Black Star. I don't think this is going to be too, too hard. Oh, it's not taking as much damage as I thought it would. Ow. <laughs> Ooh. Grand Ember. Grand Embers are, I think, 15 right now. About 13, and the Exalted Orb, which is about 10. Nice. And then the Graders are just like 5. Cool. Put all that away. Now for the main event. Eater of Worlds. Eater Worlds with my weird little marionette following me. I'm not as good at Eater as I am at Exarch. So let's see how this goes. Oh. Yeah, like, if, if I was more familiar, I definitely would have seen that coming. <laughs> A marionette is at full health. That means it exploded badly. Boop! <laughs> I 
I'm definitely getting quite quite strong now. <laughs> Enough to start to trivialize some bosses. Uh, I am... There is one upgrade that I have been holding off on, which will give me a lot of power very quickly, and that is a corruption for my Covenant. I haven't my eye open for a plus two to AoE gems corruption for it. I can pretty reliably get one whenever I want, but I'm hoping that I can get a plus two to AoE gems and plus one to socketed gems, or plus two to AoE gems and 50% increased damage. If I can get one of those, like, I want a double implicit if I can manage it, so I'm waiting for a decent deal to come on the market before I pick it up. The Tide. Gluttonous Tide, that's what it's called. Yay, my second Void Stone. So an Uber Elder and the Maven still. Now, where the heck is this going? Just go up here. This feels like a bit of a mess, I have to say. I <laughs> there's probably a better way to do this than how I've done this, I gotta say, but <laughs> it's really <laughs> I need to actually sit down with a uh, planning software that uh, lets you go through all the uh, different permutations of where you could run various lines and see what's the best option. I probably... There's got to be a better way than what I have currently selected. <laughs> but there's a lot to do for now. Meanwhile... Uh, I also am almost done with the Atlas entirely. Only thing I'm missing right now is a Coward's Trial. And I'm just waiting for that to come up in Kirax set, basically. What do we have here? A lot of simple, kind of boring missions. Yeah, let's pick up a Delirium Mirror, see how that goes. And then I'm going to freak out the freak out OBS when I do this. <laughs> it's not going to like me opening this delirium. Ooh. Or to me while I'm waiting for my software to catch up. Road. Come on, OBS. You can do it. There we go. You just need to reconcile all the hordes of of uh projectiles? No, particles going on. That map was way too hard to click on. Where's the boss? Give me master mission, will you? Oh, I didn't even get a chance to wither it. <laughs> And there's Delirium. Synthesized Eye Jewel. Okay. Well, it's tier 16, so it should be uh, item 84. Because I believe the item level is one level above the area level, if I understand correctly. Nope, I'm wrong. <laughs> Never mind, just ignore me. I mean, it might be kind of boring to ignore me, but still. I am amusing, if nothing else. I know that. At least so I've been told. Maybe I've been lied to. Yeah. I 
abyss. Abyss, abyss, abyss. Where you going? Give me a jewel. Give me a decent jewel. You gave me nothing. Why? Ah, that might be something. Ooh, there's a harvest here. Good. I don't want to spend too long in this map. It's not the most lucrative thing to stay in Kirak maps when I can do like Searing Exarch or Eater of Worlds maps. Those are just going to be much better. Okay, no legendary seeds. What is that portal? Oh, it's probably just a trial. I don't care about that. Oh, I forgot to thank Occult Wolf and Control Problem who followed uh, while the stream was off. I miss Occult's follow because that was I should have actually said something about that a couple streams ago. But thank you both for following the channel. I really appreciate it. Okay, so is this worth anything? It is worth something, maybe. I assume just bases? Yeah, these aren't worth anything. Oh. Here, can you get anything nice? Ooh, that's, that's nice. Nope, wrong thing. No dip card one. Eh, unique strong box. Wait, I actually should have some scouting reports now. Yeah, I do have scouting reports. I don't know why I'm, like, I have to just run whatever to cycle it. No, I don't actually have to do that anymore. I had a big pile of Kirak missions for a while, and then I started fishing for Untainted Paradise. Because I really wanted to level up. It was a bit of a, a slog to get to 95, but managed it. it. I think it took like three Untainted Paradise to like to get there, plus a few safe houses and a couple breach stones. I guess I shouldn't say it was a slog. It's not that bad. In general, I don't really like leveling this game. I like playing with the build more so. Upgrading equipment and stuff, changing out equipment, changing gem links. That stuff's more fun to me. Uh, is this just an echo? No, this isn't. Okay, there's, there's something here. What is here, though? Is a way. Well, it's the right way, but is a way. Ooh, I will take maps. Maps are good. There is the unique strong box. Is that an unassuming barrel? Uh, it probably would. I don't have. I did not bring spells of wisdom. Okay, it's a, there's a barrel here. It's a. Uh, very normal barrel. Strange barrel, just an ordinary barrel. Uses for sensible things, not swarms of things. Like spiders! It's my favorite strong box. Oh, that was... a thing. <laughs> I mean, strong boxes aren't really interesting to, in general, but eh. they're just little bits of extra money. I feel like I should have seen the boss by now. Where are you, Vol? 
or is this the uh whatever that thing is the drought beast not the dr not the drought madden bro oh there's the sandstorm Creepy the eye pecker. Well, that's a name. Excuse me? Oh, I got another fortunate. Nice. This one sixth of a divine. <laughs> Always fun. Okay, that should be enough. Selling anything? Mm, I keep selling the, or I keep buying the uh, Waken Sextants because he sells them below market price. No. It's not right. Get that here. I like to keep my actually valuable things separate, so I know how many of them I have. Ooh. Okay, what do you have now? Okay, well, I'm definitely picking one of these. Uh, Drox is more valuable. We'll go back to the desert, and we'll fight Drox again. Or we'll fight the desert boss again, and then fight Drox. Drox is not a good match for me. He really isn't. <laughs> he, I kind of just ignore most of his defenses. Being that I'm a chaos build. More correctly, I'm not a... <laughs> I'm just his natural enemy. He's strong against physical builds. I imagine also elemental builds. God. Delirium. And I have all of Drox's effects going on. Okay, that's that's enough. That's enough Delirium for now. Maybe when I have a better graphics card, it'll be more of a thing, but... My computer does not like me running around with a quick build while dealing with the delirium. So I have been informed that there might be a way to change up how OBS processes things based on putting more tax on my GPU rather than my CPU. So still have to look into that, but I might be able to Eek some more performance out of my computer if I can. Certainly will if I, certainly will if it's possible. I really like some influence here if I could. Rock helmets tend to be kind of legendary because they can get the maximum power charge craft on them. So if I can get a helmet from him... Oh, it's the stupid shit! I recognize the stupid shit. I wonder how expensive they are. I'll explain what I'm talking about in a second for those who aren't familiar with the Valdo's puzzle box trash. Heartbound loop. How much are these? These are about three div. Okay, it's a mysterious map with a foil unique reward. 
So, these are... I'm going to turn on the music for a second. Nope, that only turns it down for you. Pausing that for a second so I can think of it better. The Volvo's Puzzle Box has the ability to create maps that can delete your character permanently. But not, not send them to a different league, not send them to standard, it will just delete your character and everything on it. Which was a bright idea that GGG has decided was worth putting in the game. I cannot imagine what their rationale was when they were like, hey, yes, let's put something in the game that can delete your character. Also, our net code is awful. <laughs> like, the moment that you lag out and get killed by something, you just lose your character. Like, why... <laughs> Do they really think that their net code is so good that it can survive people doing these types of maps? No. If this was a single-player game, it would be on skill, but this isn't a pure skill thing. <laughs> Unless you can somehow survive while standing in one place while not doing anything, uh, while having no control of your character for up to 10 seconds or however long it takes for it to time you out after you get disconnected. I've had enough disconnection issues with this game to know that uh, something that has the ability to just delete you when you die is a terrible plan. I guess they're just going to pretend that their game actually has netcode that doesn't just murder you, like, often. Spoiler, it doesn't. Your, your game is not so good that it can just withstand that sort of shit. There will be people getting killed for absolutely no reason. Yes. I'm a Lady 5 Drox Helmet. But yeah, that is a uh, mildly dumb thing. I believe there are some boxes that will not just instantly kill you. But I don't know. And to be clear, like when you open the box, you get a map out of it. So like you don't you don't just run into it immediately. So you can see what it is and then make a choice based on how much you want to risk, but I I would not have a problem with it if this was a single player game and there was no such thing as you being able to lag to death, but I don't think their game is nearly stable enough that it warrants something like this being able to exist. So I mean, free to, feel free to disagree with me, but I really don't think that it was a smart choice to add to the game. I really don't, I don't think it's a good idea. But I certainly will not say no to another thing that I can sell for large amounts of money. I guess I'll just put that up for, I don't know, three div. No, that's a dedication to Goddess. Ooh, what do you have for me now, Kirak? Dip card? No dip card. Darn it. I do have scouting reports, though. Ooh, uh, oh. Took me a second to remember which map that was. I'm less excited now. Okay, so we have a stack of divination cards one. Let's run this. See what we can get. I got a stack of uh, Saint's Treasure the other day. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, Saint's Treasure is a set of 11, 12 maybe? And it gives you two Exalted Orbs for completing it. So, Yurik just fed me two Exalted Orbs. I have no issue with that. 
usually it's not that good, the, the stuff you get, but I mean, you do the full stack of divination cards thing, not because you're going to get a good result, but because there is the possibility of getting something absolutely obscene if you get very lucky. It can be worth it, it's just most likely not going to be. Which direction does this go? This way? Somewhere? This way. Give me an Oathbreaker, will you? I want to buy some stuff. Oh. Wait, I found the purple and I got to a warden. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Those power charges. Overkill. Fire pen. Attack speed. That's a lot of attack speed. That is a lot of attack speed. 24% increase attack speed. That is really nice. Yeah, I'm going to pick that one up. Well, I'm going to pick up enough wisps to get it, and then I'm going to pick that one up. If I get enough wisps. Yeah, I should be fine. Oh, I'll definitely be fine. Plus, it's on a uh, freeze tincture, which is really good. I love the freeze tinctures. They have the ability to add survivability to most builds. I mean, if you can just freeze things, then that, that saves you a lot. And I'm, I am in the kind of quote-unquote lucky scenario where since I have a 100% chance to crit, I have a 100% chance to freeze. Except for things that have, like, ailment avoidance specifically, which is rare-ish. I believe it also requires you to do enough damage to, uh, to freeze anyways, like... I think critting makes it easier, but, like, I think it guarantees that if you do enough damage, it will happen, not just if you do enough damage and you get the right chance it will happen. I'll see map. Map, 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 map. Oh, stack of lingering rem remnants. Uh oh. Took me a second to process which one this was, and I am now less excited. <laughs> Not really a huge fan of those. Oh, wait! I'm doing strong boxes this league. That means it actually is good for me, because it has a ton of strong boxes on it, the Vault Temple map, like inside it, and like natively. And that works really well with people who have Strongbox Atlas passives. I have all of them. Okay, I'm just going to finish up this last little bit, then I'll leave this map. I figured I might as well kill the boss while I'm here. Are you the boss? You're the boss. Axia. Okay, you were sad. <laughs> you know what? Let's actually try this, because I usually don't like the Vault Temple, but... The uh, area contains 10 additional guarded vol vessels, means that that's 10 extra strong boxes you have, and they're going to be probably as good as they possibly can be, just based on all like all the Atlas passives I have. Let's give it some stuff. Some quant. 
some fortune favors for something for a blight encounter. That's not what I wanted, but that's okay. That is okay. I'm gonna hang out over here. While my totems annoy the red beast. Ow. Something's eating me. I dislike this. Stop eating me. Okay. Wait. What? Hold on. I have to clear this out so I can read what that thing said. What did that say? Started by a Vol side area boss. I have never seen that before. That sounds cool. Okay, where? Oh, it's dead. What was it, though? Oh, it's this thing. Oh, cool. That was... Exciting, I guess? <laughs> it was something. It wasn't, like, a big thing, but it was something, I guess. I, I, I am sorry to give the point where I'm trivializing certain bosses and mechanics now with, like, the build power. Because I am, I have started to invest a fair bit of money into the build. Like, this is not a cheap build to begin with, but I have made it significantly less cheap. <laughs> it's mainly just, I have gone into the advanced section of the build now, which is very expensive by comparison to the main part of the build, which is also very expensive, but not that expensive. How much money was that worth? I've already lost it. There it is. No, oh, this is... Why is this sword by quality? Dark... Mm, dark Pact. Dark Pact. I have already lost it. There it is. Is it worth anything? Kind of. Okay. Cool. Pop you back in. Okay. Now, where were we with our strong boxes? More like weak boxes. Ah, ha, ha. Oh god, I'm in danger. I'm in slight danger. I don't know what those orbs of things are. They look like something that'll apply corrupting blood to me. <laughs> Not that it really matters since I have high physical damage reduction, but... Oh, these all have ball side area bosses with them. That's interesting. Oh, is that an Arm Borax? Oh, an Arm Borax. Oh. Resolute te Technique and Skills Fire an Additional Projectile. That's interesting. What's this? Oh, it's just corrupted. The Price of Protection, was it? Yeah, the Price of Protection is good. I'll take Guardian Occupied Map. Soul Splinter can be silenced or hindered. Uh... I don't know if those are good, it doesn't matter really, just gonna throw them all into my stash. Oh, and this one, I get a second chance to reopen it because of my passives. Cool, cool. Yeah, I heard that this is very good if you have the strongbox Atlas passives, and I, I think I see why. you have a chance to reopen the strong box each time you do it. So if you can get ten, ten guaranteed strong boxes plus the one or two guaranteed strong boxes you already have, and you have a chance to reopen all of them, plus you can get even more than that, pretty good mix. I can see see why people like it. It's making me like this map more. I mainly don't like it because of the boss at the end, but, like, eh. The boss isn't what it used to be. It has high fizz damage, which was scary for a lot of the caster characters I like to play. But, oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Okay, so that is a good a description of why I don't like Valdo's pu puzzle box. Because while this is not a puzzle box, if this was... 
and I was not surrounded by skeletons, I would have died there. And my character would be deleted. Which is why I do not think that is a good addition to the game. This was a game with perfect netcode, not that that's even possible, really. If this was a game with better netcode, I would be less concerned. I think the main reason I'm annoyed, though, is just that it, I heard, oh, tier 17 special maps, they're cool, and they can have new bonus objectives. I'm like, that sounds awesome. I look forward to having more, like, all fun content to do, like, extra things for, like, more challenge. Nope. <laughs> nope, that's not happening. I'm gonna just not torture myself with the chance of network disconnection deleting my character. Thank you very much. Cooperation. Ball aspect. What is that? Oh, that's for the trial master. I can't search how much it's worth. It's probably worth something. I feel like that's worth something. Oh, no. Oh, we randomly got a unique strong box. And this isn't even one of like the normal ones. Um, oh, does it just spit out tormented spirits? It's not very useful. Oh, we got another run of it. Nice. Are these spirits supposed to inhabit the rare monsters that spawned that got instantly destroyed? <laughs> I like six links. Oh. I also like having inventory space, which of which I do not have. Darn. That's okay. I have dump tabs, which will solve most of life's problems. So throw the cooperation in here. It's easier to track then. Oh, that was a uh, ice fang orbit. This cannot be poison. That's interesting. Very on brand for it, but I don't know if it's useful necessarily. Nothing with that corruption exists on the market. Did Max roll Dex, but it did it like almost mineral poison damage, which is probably kind of just makes it bad. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Six link, mine. Game, what you doing? Now, now, OBS, you need to play nice with Path. You have to get along with each other. Please and thank you. Ooh, increased experience gain. Perfect. That actually probably doesn't matter a huge amount right now, since I... Uh, mm, okay, hi, Brian King. I should kill you before you become a problem. Oh, nope. I'm going to stay away from that. Einhard, please do your job. Einhard, please, please, get him. Einhard. Einhard, thank you. <laughs> that took a really long time. Ooh, a Sedima's Touch with Frenzy Charges. That's gotta be worth something. 
you know what? I'll try. I'll check it. Why not? Nine uh, C. Yay. <laughs> hey, it's it's something. Uh, I'm gonna just drop my totems there and not walk into that. I don't need to walk through the hell doorway. I have totems for that purpose. I'm learning more to be a totem build and less of a walk into things with my face build. <laughs> that's, that's my first instinct, is to just walk into things with my face, and it's honestly not that good for my health. Hmm. I have to go this way. Yeah, I'll do the increased experience game one, why not? Who knows, maybe I won't die for a while until I level up again. I'm at 8%. Ooh, what are you, what's lagging me this time? Poor OBS. I need to... I need to help, help you find some more resources on this computer. I built this computer to be everything I could ever need for the next five years. And wouldn't you look at that? It's been five years. <laughs> uh, that is unfortunate. Needs some changes. Oh, well. Maybe if we ever make it as a big community, then we can get some crazy nice GPU like all the big streamers have. <laughs> Where? Okay, something was the boss. Is it you? No, you're not the boss. Whatever. Ooh, Ball Cyclone. That's probably actually worthless, even with the quality. Where's the, where are my skitter bots? There you are. A lot of my skitter bots just do not come with me when I teleport, because they're like, must run around. <laughs> oh, wait. I should just go back the main way. That got me 2% XP, I believe. Yeah, that's pretty good when I'm at level 95 from a single vol side area. Speaks to how valuable the XP gain ones are. I mean, maps themselves are only... Like, a tier 16 map is only, like, 5 or 6% of the level, so that's still that's pretty good. I guess the play is a bit risky with increased AoE for the minions. That... Uh, won't go badly. What could possibly go wrong? Ow! <laughs> well, something that could possibly go wrong is I stand on top of something that's about to explode, and then it explodes, and then I <laughs> question my life choices. That could go wrong, in fact. This is why you don't get complacent like I do sometimes. <laughs> just like, yeah, I could probably survive this, so I just don't bother moving. Like, yeah, but... What if you don't? Oh. Yay, Blight. Alert. Uh, you are the physical one, so I can put... A lightning tower there, and a cold tower there. 
and I could ignore this area. Focus on this one. Yes. We'll take a seismic tower there. And another seismic tower here. There's much seismic activity in this area. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. Kinda loopy. Imagine... Imagine that makes it funny, though. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm... Yeah, okay, that, that's fair, Cassia. That is actually a valid reason to be nervous is that I'm not paying attention. <laughs> that's fine. Everything turned out fine. I actually got a gold oil to drop the other day. I was so excited. Never see gold oils. We certainly get an eclectic mix of crap from <laughs> from that from the vol vessels, that's for sure. But what do I have going on over here? I'm noticing this. Oh, I have a safe house. Scarab, scarab, scarab. Uh, let me guess. Scarabs. <laughs> well, I might as well do this so I can do more. Uh, words. Uh, moral syndicate crap. So I have a goal, a couple goals, for this coming year for the channel. Uh, this might be too low, but I'm going to shoot for 150 subscribers this year. I'm currently at 61 as of earlier today. So I'll be banking on getting another like 90-ish subscribers, 89 subscribers. Which should be more than doable in the next 12 months-ish. I'll, I'll up to, if, if I am at like 250, mm, what is going on here? You know, you're very sneaky. So sneaky, in fact, that you can't even see me. Are you, like, somewhere else? That's weird. But yeah, gonna shoot for 150 subscribers. And I'm also going through and updating a lot of stuff on the channel, so... A lot of the old videos are gonna have new thumbnails and stuff soon. I have, like, a way that I'm learning how to do thumbnails now. Uh, which is, just, like, the little images that uh, represent a video. And I'm going to bring a lot of the old videos into having the same style now, too. Because it makes them go a bit better. It's also helping me learn a lot, too. And since I'm a designer, I like making everything pretty. So I'm making a color palette for thumbnails for the channel and all of that fun stuff. Wow, why is there so much lag? That was the laggiest syndicate encounter I've ever had. That that was weird. Okay. Taper scarab. Hog scarab. Our oh, rid was only level one, so it makes sense. <laughs> that I only got a, a rusted. 
all of these were level 2s except for Ren, who's level 1, so not too surprising that they're crap. But I got 4% more XP, which is pretty good. And now I am free to do more Syndicate things. Syndicate stuffs. That's actually a really good ring. Like, surprisingly good. What tier life roll? That's a tier 1 life. That's okay. Fortunately, that's a tier 2 all res. But it is an item level 85, so like there's a lot of stuff that can roll on this. This is this is actually really nice. Plus, if I unveil something really good on that, it'll be quite yummy. Yummy? No, not bad. This one. Well, I could just add flat damage. There's there's very few builds that don't benefit from flat damage. <laughs> Okay, flat damage it is. And that leaves an open suffix. Cool. I don't think I need most of this other stuff. You will go in the box. And you will stay here. Until I am done with... Something. <laughs> Ooh, we could do an Alba's Memory uh, Reverse Incursion. I've done one of those since whatever the fuck that other league was. Uh, Crucible. <laughs> For those who aren't familiar with the master memories, uh, you just apply them to somewhere on the atlas. No, I'm not going from Maze. Where do I want to put it? I'll put it on Canyon, I guess. I like, kind of like this selection. Reef. So you're going to put it on one map, and it's going to spread out to other maps. Uh, I'll, put, I'll put it on... I like... I don't like Orchard, and I don't like Basilica, but... It's going to go to one of those if I put it here. Whatever. Going on Canyon. Oh, it didn't! Okay, so Canyon, then we're going to have Temple, Ivory Temple... And Stagnation. Okay, that's actually a really good set. So Alva's going to supply us with some maps now. Very specific maps. Okay, ooh, that's a nice little diagram. No, that's not a diagram. That's a nice little compass thingy. It's a doily! That's a nice doily. Oh, I didn't realize these had increased experience gain on them. That's nice. Temporal incursion portals, so Alva's master missions have their direction reversed, so they're basically strong boxes. Okay. Cool. I do not remember if you can put scarabs in with it. You probably can't. Let me see if I can just put sacrifices in with it, or if it's just... Nope, okay. Activate! Cool. I'm going to prepare the next one as well. Elemental damage reflection. Do I have... Do I do any elemental damage? No, I don't. I just do chaos damage. Oh yeah, I have uh, awakened uh, void manipulation, so of course I don't do any elemental. Um, yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> of course I don't do any elemental damage. Reduce, reduce the effect of curses, but like my curse is actually a surprisingly small amount of my damage, so that's fine. I'll do that map. First, we shall do the first one. I wonder if they're all 100% experience gain. 100% increased experience gain, not 100% experience gain. It's a big difference. <laughs> okay, I'm at 14%. See what I get from this. 
Need an incursion. I kind of expected it to pop out. Do I just talk to her? Oh yeah. So it's like the stream of monsters strongbox. Basically. Wow, this goes on a lot longer than I thought. Okay, that gave... Oh, the physical damage is extra chaos damage is a special mod, I think. Don't think this is even remotely valuable. No, it really isn't. I can do a quick trade. I've got time. Try not to trade too much during streams, but if it's something expensive, eh. It'll help our community to have extra money for cool things. Because, you know, I'm going to use it to make the build awesome, and then once the build's awesome, I'm just going to buy weird crap like Master Memories and stuff that look cool. Okay, right, let's follow the edge all the way down. Down the rabbit hole! I like the bird hole, which is just the bird at the end. Like those burrowing birds. You know the birds. Can't for the life of me think of what the bird is called. So the cool thing is, I can just sit back here. <laughs> oh, no, my totems are getting eaten. Gotta, gotta keep that one on. Hard sharp. Oh, okay. Didn't recognize the name initially, but I recognize that one now with the divination scarabs. What to? Well, hopefully spreading out my totems a little bit will make them take less damage. Ooh. Ah. So that's what was popping out, is the architects. Hey, Ron. Stream's going great. We're doing a master memory. Which is... One of the masters just offers us a random... Not a random. Offers us a... Different take on how their mechanic works. And this has... Ooh, that has nice increased movement speed stuff. And this to burning enemies. Ooh, that looks nice. I will take all of this. Thank you. Okay, where is Bird? There is Bird. Burb! There go Burb. Bye, Burb. How are you today, my friend? Ron? I gotta specify, because sometimes I do actually just talk to the NPCs. Ooh, increased experience gain. I will take that too. I'm at 16% now. Nope. I almost was at 6%. <laughs> This one has reduced uh, effective auras, so I need to be kind of careful. 
Aura effect is very important for me. Doing well had a long day, now I'm just relaxing, dozing off. I'm glad that, uh, being the chance to take a load off. Always nice after a long day. Goat! Yeah, this is about the end of my day, too. Chillin' doing some stream stuff. I guess I already clicked on this one. I wonder... So I noticed there's a Wildwood in here. I wonder if... I assume King of the Mist can pop up. So I'll check the Wildwood. Let's see why he wouldn't be able to pop up. This is a tier 16. And he's tier 14+. plus. Okay. I'll just go up. Why not? Ooh. What is this? Oh. A little shaman's hut area. Lots of purple. What I'd really love is a merchant. Well, okay, what I would love is the King of the Mist, but a merchant would be good too. I should be nearing the point where I can trivialize the King of the Mist with just damage. So. I should be able to take him on easily, though we're not seeing it here. What is going on with this? Just wisps I can't pick up. Okay. Nope. Not that way. I need to talk to the primalist. Money? Do you have money for me? Money. No. 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 Okay. Got nada. Oh well. Well, whatever. Eh. Look into the darkness. Darkness, my own friend. Hunting skeletons again. Okay, they're all dead. 18%. Okay, so there's four memories for us to look through. This is the second of four. It was a dangerous choice that I made to come in here first, but who doesn't like to live dangerously? I've always been told I like to live on the edge. No one's ever said that about me. Wait, did I pick up the thing? Oh my gosh, that is... I think it's a 35C worth of essence. <laughs> or life force. Why do I call it essence? I don't know, it's kind of essence-y. It's the essence of a creature, the life force. You know. That thing. The thing, the, with the stuff, that thing. Nope. I see explosions. I don't want... I don't want explosions. No, thank you. I am the purveyor of explosions. You do not outsource explosions. They come from me and me alone.
This might make it a bit challenging. But we'll be okay, probably. Armor ledge. Not worth anything. Right over there. Got this area first. Okay, good enough. Run circles. Eerily similar to how I deal with ultimatum and ritual. And occasionally harvest. <laughs> this is just a run in circles game. Oh, my totems are getting destroyed. I'm not destroying my totems, I need those. For totem related matters. Wing really needs to hit that harder. Please murder that man, thank you. It's been a moiter. I don't need any of that. Yeah, the architects are much harder when they're empowered. I might have made an error. We will see. I don't know if you just, like, use up the empowerment over time, because... That would suggest that I should do everything except the uh, memory stuff first. So that I use up all of that and then I... All the empowerment is on other stuff, but... Also, that's not interesting. It is, in fact, boring. <laughs> Ow. I'm being sun-orbed. Stop sorbing me! Why are you being laggy? What have I done to deserve this? You know what, let's go back and do the incursion. I just spread out my totem so they aren't getting killed by AoE stuff. Really liking these marionettes that just respawn when you're done. That's pretty nice. Or when they respawn when they die. Ah, I see an architect. Kind of. There it is. What is that? Danger? No danger. It's just sparkly. I like sparkly. That's probably not supposed to happen. It's one of those things that should have gone away, probably. Don't worry, this game has no bugs. <laughs> I do like the Wildwood, so I'm kind of happy that I did go in there first, because... I just like to I just like the mechanic. It is unfortunate how much harder it makes everything, but I mean once once I get my new chest plate, it'll be a lot less hard, so to a certain extent I am making things a bit harder by not buying it, but I'm trying to wait till I see like the best deal I can find. I also saw some chest plates that were like plus two to AoE gems and reduced damage from crits. And with stuff like that is would be just so nice. I'm a bit spoiled because 
I'm used to uh, my Firestorm build where I got to do plus two to AoE gems and plus two duration gems to get plus four to my Firestorm. That was so nice. Unfortunately, that's not really a possibility with this. Because someone doesn't have the curse tag. I don't know why Hex Blast, you know, Hexes, doesn't ha What is going on? I don't like all of these strange skulls. If you could just, like, go away, that'd be nice. Ow. What is this? <laughs> ah, it's a corrupting- it's a fountain of corrupting blood. That's awful. Oh my gosh, there's three of them. There's so many architects, that's the problem. Ow. Ow, there are so many architects. Why are there so many architects? We don't- there's not usually four architects. I feel like I'm being robbed. How dare you rob me. That's my job. I mean, it technically kind of is in this game. It's like, you really, you, all you're doing is you're going into an area and you're murdering everything, and then you're taking all the shit they had. Though they're kind of somewhat memories of the Atlas? So I don't know. I don't fucking know how that shit works. Hang out over here. Ow. I don't know who's the jerk doing that, but I don't like you. Let's we'll just cast everything from over here. Ow. Okay, I am not the only one with ranged attacks. That is... Ow. Darn it. I've been moitered. Hard to focus on one particular architect because totems kind of auto fire. Nope. <laughs> Almost died again. Let's not embarrass myself, shall we? Aha! Wither! I'm very lucky he did not get off that attack. Hmm. Oh, minion damage, minion deal double da double damage chance, and critical strike. That's really good. And this is also not that bad. Okay. This is a good way to get decent rare gear. It's unfortunate that we are a month in and rare gear is worth nothing. Well, not nothing, but most rare gear is not worth anything. Oh no, it's branching. What am I going to do? <laughs> Hold on, let me check my phone while it does its thing. <laughs> uh, let's take an arc turret. I like that sound of that. Let's grab another arc. Nope. Nope. Let's see, now what I should have done there is not stand in the wall of fireballs. But I did. And that was where I made a mistake. You're right, Ron, I think it might be branching. I can't be sure. There's no real indication, but maybe.
Okay, I think that's this whole area. I think I've done everything. Oh, yeah, and I did the Wildwood first. Oh, I'm down to 5% XP again. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. Easy go, easy come. Easy blob, easy go. Wait, what? No. Not that. Okay, now for something much harder. Wait, I need this. Okay. Okay. 300% more life, 30% more damage, 45% increased explicit modifier magnitude. Hmm. See, that's bad because most of my damage is crits. <laughs> and by most of my damage, I mean all of my damage. So maybe not that. How much of weakness? Oh, most of a hundred and one percent chance to avoid elemental ailments. No, that means that I can't freeze anything. It's a bad idea. Bleach, extra damage. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fine with that. Nope, not that. That's fine. And I will add. Uh, Quality to the last one. Ninety-six percent less effective curses. No. No, thank you. Burning ground, monster variety. Oh, I don't think any of these modifiers can be increased. Unless the burning ground does more damage or something, but I don't I assume not. Okay, all those are fine. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to do the Wildwood first, because I don't want to suffer horribly. Oh, there's just a random scarecrow there. I was wondering what that was. Oh, it's my marionette for a moment. Okay, you... Okay, I think that was... an architect. That's an architect. Take it out. Okay, so you have to kill the architects as they spawn, basically. Or they start to build up and it becomes a problem. Oh, they're probably what's dropping all, like, the cool, sh like, rare shit. Oh my gosh, I forgot to turn the music back on. It's been so long. <laughs> that was only like 10 maps ago. <laughs> It's always supposed to be music, I just sometimes forget, unfortunately. It's very easy to forget that type of thing, just because it fades into the background for me, with how my brain works. I can... My brain can just ignore most sounds, irregardless of volume, depending on like whether it gets used to it or not. It's kind of a weird function, but...
Oh, a barracks, nice. Hi, Rena's over there. That after. Architect, architect, architect. I've noticed they light up the area around them like the guards do in the Forbidden Sanctum. What I'll also do is look for the light. And the area looks like it's lit up suddenly. I know there's danger. Ooh, it's safer. I love how Freeze trivializes certain boss fights. That's so much fun. It's very satisfying. And now to go into the Hell Room. Oh. There's, like, nothing in here. Okay. Usually there's, like, a horde of things in here. Okay, well, that was weird. Imagine I find... That's where you find the hideout for this area. Imagine I just find a hideout inside a master memory. That would be really weird. Okay, six lanes. Is there still some more stuff in this map to do? Also, the wild, what to go back for. Uh... Okay, I'll build up here. Scout, scout, scout. Ah. I missed that there was going to be one more tower. Or one more lane. Okay, well, I'm just going to make this scout tower over here. And that will kind of deal with the problem. I upgrade that. I hate proximity shield. Not bad. Every once in a while, I like rush to like build something before the thing ends, and it's so counterintuitive because if the thing's ending, I don't need to build anything, but I'm trying to build something because it's ending. I don't know why my brain does that. It's just like, must build faster before it ends. No. It's ending because it's done. <laughs> I don't need to build anymore. Ooh, courtyard. There's got to be another incursion in here somewhere. Is there no incursion in this area? Did I finish all of them? Forget how many I've done. I think I've done three-ish. How many incursions are there? Uh, five, apparently. I feel like there's at least one more. Yeah, okay, I see it. Please stop rubber banding me. Yeah, there's two more. If 
Okay, with the hell out of the architect. I think between streams, I'm going to be looking into the marionette specter thing where I can apply a curse. Or not a curse, where I can apply an aura to the specter that it will just give it to me. I don't know if it will work out, but supposedly it does work. If I have to constantly turn the aura back on every time the specter dies, it would be too obnoxious for me to want to bother with, but. Hopefully that's not the case. The thing is, I don't know if it dies, per se. Because, like, it dies, but I don't know if that count. Like, I don't know what disables the aura. Because I know that it, the aura disables when it dies because it's gone, but I don't know how that interacts with the marionette specifically that revives after half a second. Uh, and movement speed, uh, full damage. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's everything here. Nope, that's not everything. There is a wildwood somewhere. Oh god, where is it? <laughs> Should be down here. Oh yeah, okay, that's not that far away. Every time I have to walk anywhere, I'm reminded that I cannot replace Warden because of the movement speed increase. It's just too good. GGG, increase our movements, default movement speed, please. I have an Oathbreaker here, good. Let's see what they have to sell. Ooh, Marionette. Cool. I should probably pick up an extra Marionette. Yeah, I'll grab an extra Marionette. I could grab a pain artist and act, like immediately activate it, but I don't know if it's gonna matter. Here, I'm gonna buy a pain artist too because they're cheap. Okay, it's on the ground. Activate. Cool. I have crit in increased crit multi. Let's see how long that pain artist lasts for. Because I can't slow down for it to to function better, because otherwise that's just kind of... It's already dead. It's Yeah, it's already gone. Okay. <laughs> Man, I... I'm using a level 20 Ray Spectre and a level 20 minion life support, and it still just gets instantly killed. Oh well. I mean, I'm not a min build, so I guess it makes sense. Okay, I have an extra marionette now. That is good. Okay, one final, one final map. 
Oh, I see we actually have four viewers right now. Nice. If anyone wants to weigh in, I have to decide whether I want to do the Wildwood first, which will make the rest of the map harder, or if I want to come and do it last, because it will make the map easier to do it that way, but it technically will have less loot. Anyone have any thoughts on that? Harder with more loot, or easier with less loot? Easier means it will be faster. Okay, well, we're first. Ooh. Immediately currency stuff. That's good. Ow, okay, this burning ground sucks. <laughs> I need to change... Okay, when slash if I die, I need to change my Pantheon to have the anti-burning ground. Assuming that I have that? Yes, I do. I want I want to stand somewhere where I can look at the merchant without dying. Please and thank you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, now. Other effect to do no no, all that sucks. Okay, there was more up here somewhere. More blue. that. I'm going to get as much loot as I can. What is this? Oh, horse cash. Ow. God, this burning ground sucks. <laughs> I'm spending all of my health blast charges just to maintain against the burning ground. That sucks. <laughs> okay. Ignore the contract for now. Okay. Architect. Architect of War. That's for the weapon cache area. Zone. Thingy. Room. Weapon cache room. Concealment. Don't remember who concealment is. You know, I did notice the burning ground. It's <laughs> it's pretty hard to ignore. I'm, in fact, getting a bit sick of it already. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to burn a portal. I don't care. Okay. Turning off the burning ground. Because I took some time to make sure I had that. I always like to have that in my pantheon. The burning ground... The anti-burning ground upgrade. I'll have less life flask charges, but whatever. Now I get a movement speed boost on the burning ground instead of taking damage. Much nicer. Granite flask. Reminder that uh, after we're done this, we are going to be uh, doing some divination cards. And we will see if we get something awesome from them. I've been saving some up for us. Uh, 
Uh, the architects are getting built up a bit. Don't like that. Okay. I am okay. I survived. No. 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 Maybe. I'll pick it up. Okay. Portal. Put those in the corners. They don't get AoE down. Gotta make sure I keep up the wither stacks, because they are actually a huge deal. Oh, that was a double empowered. Architect, I'm very happy that died quickly. That's the Wildwood adding a little bit of extra danger. Surprisingly, the Wildwood has not gotten me killed yet. Ooh! Oh my gosh, an Einhar's Memory of Harvest Beasts. I think that's the most expensive of all of the memories. Yep, six divine. Nope. Six and a half divine. It's really expensive because the Harvest Beasts that you capture actually give these really special crazy buffs like increase the level of an awakened gem by one or something create a new awakened gem that sort of shit okay this alpha first Okay, take out the Architect of the Arena. I don't like whatever you're doing. Okay, there's two Architects now. That's not good. Get it down. Weapons up. Vivid Empowered. This is not the most dangerous map, so I think that's why I'm able to survive the Empowerment. Ooh. Okay, good. That was a double empowered one I saw. I was like, no. <laughs> uh. Eh. Oh wait, I need this. Whatever this is. Did I? I don't know what that was about. Okay. Come here, Alva. This is the second. No, this is. Is either the third or the fourth encounter I've done? I please die. You're double empowered. That oh god, that was a triple empowered one. I'm happy that it died. That's single empower. Ow. Whew, I can always breathe a sigh of relief when the thing ends, because, gosh, the... <laughs> it's freaky going up against the empowered architects. They are... They're not dangerous because they're usually very squishy. But that makes them a lot less squishy. It also makes them just hit harder in general, so that's not amazing. But that did drop 
four different currency items because it was empowered, so I did certainly get some benefit out of it. Alright, let's just trivialize this guy. Goodbye. Okay. Now for the actually hard thing. I don't know why I moved my portal ten feet, but... Force of habit. <laughs> Better to have a portal than it is not to have a portal, so I'd rather stay in the habit, I guess. Oh, no. Stop. Build, stop building up. That's too many. Okay, good. I think there's one more after this. One more incursion. No. No. Mm, that has minus eight total max. That that's that has cha channeling skills reduced mana. That's really good. I should hold to that. Uh no. Okay. What's over in this corner? Okay, still a bit more. It's all over there. Pretty sure there's another incursion somewhere. At least one more. Over here, maybe? Not seeing it yet. I swear there should be another one. Uh, maybe that's all of them. Eh, well, whatever. <laughs> and so we beat it. That's all four maps of the Alva's Memory Reverse Incursions. Oh, uh, I'm going to put the memory somewhere. It's more obvious, because I want to remember I have it. Because, ironically, my memory is not very good. So I don't want to... I don't want to forget and lose that memory, which causes me to forget about this memory. I want my memory of the memory. <laughs> okay. Some end-of-stream gambling. We have three stacks of Emperor's Luck. Heterochromia, Hubris, Mitts, Cash, Glimmer of Hope, Cash, Cash, wow, a lot of caches. Some Gamblers, and that's about it. At least I'm all, all, that's about it for all the interesting ones. Her Mask, or his Gift, I, uh, a, a, a Lardix? Lardix. <laughs> Gifts from above. Highwaymen. Eye of Innocence. Not bad, but not valuable either. Ooh, a Vixens. Ooh, that's a max... That's almost... Oh my god, that's almost a perfect Vixens, too. That is gorgeous. Okay, that is actually worth like 10 or so C. That's cool. Ring, nope. Barrack script, which is the weak, it's weak one. It's the cheap one. Okay, Emperor's Luck. Give me five mirrors. Five chaos, that's pretty damn good. 
whetstones and mirror, 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 mirror. Don't, no, don't. Oh well. Uh, well, that I'm going to put away for a second. Yeah, that crap. Wow, okay, we've done actually really well. We've gotten 10 div worth of stuff today <laughs> during this stream, because this is, this is six and a half div. And this is two and a half div. So... That's already 9 div right there, plus just all the other random miscellaneous shit that we got. We got the cooperation of all aspect. I don't even know what that's worth. Bunch of good rare stuff. Been a pretty good stream. So, for those of you on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas for future videos, please leave a comment. And if you want to see more cool content, like and subscribe.